Good morning, everyone. So <clears throat> my voice, first of all, is kind of right now I'm battling a cold. This video is going to be pretty um, informational. If we're going to use big words here. And this is choosing the right foundation. I am going to talk about all the different foundations out there, not brands, um, just different styles of foundation and what skin types are usually associated to use those certain ones as well as finding your perfect shade. So if you hear me sniffling a lot, I'm sick, I'm battling a cold, but I just thought it'd be cool to make a video. So let's just not unsubscribe. Okay. That's my little joke now. Anyways, <coughs> gross. Okay. I did this video last night. I was wearing a really cute pink shirt, cute makeup, and then I was, you know, going back over it and it just, it wasn't very well done. So <laughs> we're going to try that again. Big ol' sniff before we start. All right. So there, like I said, there's different types of foundation. We're going to start with liquid. Uh, liquid's usually water-based or oil-based. For those of you who have um, oilier skin, you should stick with the water-based foundations. Those of you have who have um, oil or drier skin should stick with the oilier, oilier based foundations. If that's even a word. Um, with that being said, that's usually liquid foundation ordeal. Um, <coughs> cream to powder foundation. Oh, I have notes, so. I don't forget anything. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading those. Cream to powder foundation, those are usually good if you live in a humid or more humid climate, like Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, all those humid climate, cli I can't even talk. All those humid climates, those work specifically for that. Um, good, long lasting. It doesn't depend on the oil type. It works great for all skin types. So that was the cream powder or cream to powder foundation. Then there is cream formula, which is known to have full coverage, and um, it is oil-based, which means ladies with oilier skin, more oily skin, um, I would not recommend that to. It will not work very well, and it will not stay on very well. However, like I said, with regular liquid foundation, people with drier skin, that one works really good. Um, there is a foundation out there called Mousse, and... That one typically usually works for younger skin. Um, that's the, not era, that's the demographical area, era, era that they're trying to um, get it to is the younger looking skin. So anywhere from like, you know, let's say 13 till 30 something, I don't know, late 30s is okay for mousse. Uh, older than that won't typically work very well. Um, now airbrushing, I've heard a couple of Lulus talk about airbrushing. It, it's a pretty cool um, technique. However, as flawless as it does make you look, it does make it nearly impossible to put on any kind of um, powdered eyeshadow or powdered blush. So with that being said, Yes, you can still look flawless, but it's still pretty impossible. If you're going to use airbrush, I recommend you cheek stain first with some kind of, you know, cheek stain um, blush before you airbrush. That way it does tint out a little bit when you do put it over because it's hard to put on powdered blush. So that's airbrushing. Um, powder mineral is good for people who don't need long wear. Uh, you barely need any kind of cover-up concealer. It's just under eye circles. Um, your skin tone's all even. You just want a thin layer of some kind of cover-up to make it all match. Um, is usually typically the people that use powder mineral foundation. Uh, it only lasts up to three hours, so like I said, it's very thin. It doesn't last very long. So this is an example. Sorry, I had to shake it. Revlon Color Stay. This one is the... Um, liquid foundation. This one's for combination oily skin, so I'm assuming this one's water-based. Uh, yeah, it is because it says oil-free. So this one's a water-based one. Looks like this. They do have oil-based ones for dry skin instead of combination oily skin. I do prefer this one. It's a drugstore brand. Um, <clears throat> this one's an example of powder mineral. Although it's not powder, it is mineralized foundation, and it's this mineralized MAC SPF 15. Cool little compact. Looks like this. 
uh, small liquid. You don't need very much of it. It's very light. Um, it's a good one for summer or spring. Uh, stays on pretty good, pretty good coverage. When if you lift it up, it comes with a little applicating sponge underneath. So those are some two examples of, you know, the powder mineral and the regular liquid. So if you guys have any questions, I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know real quick how to find your perfect shade. Excuse me. Just go to a drugstore, uh, put a couple of lines on your jawline as well as your forearm. Step out into the light. Um, of course, you're going to need a compact mirror or something to check out the jawline if you're going to do that. Go into direct sunlight though, um, whatever color matches on your forearm or on your jawline best is your color. So it's that simple. You guys have a great day. I will get that glasses tutorial out as soon as possible. I just noticed a lot of people ask a lot of gurus, you know, should I use this foundation? Should I use this? What color do you think will work for this? Blah, 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 blah. So I hope this helped. You guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.